So we want to get a calculated field right here, meaning that when we change this date, we want this day to actually change this number, excuse me, to tell us how many days there are between these two dates. This is a pretty easy thing to do within lists. And remember the application Microsoft lists is really SharePoint lists. So we're going to use both of those kind of to give this example. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. So we're going to just add another one here. We're just going to say add column and notice here that we're looking for calculated. It's not there. So we're going to go ahead and click on more. Now, once more happens, you'll see here that you're going to be brought in to a screen that allows you to do a few things. So we're just going to say um, days between. It doesn't really matter. You just need to give the name, the column a name here. And then we're going to say here calculated right here. Once we hit calculated, we're going to go on down and we're going to see here right here a formula that we can put in. So there is a formula here and it's I'm just going to type it in here for you real quick. In fact, let me just paste it in. That might be easier and show you exactly what it is. So this is the equals date if dated if. Okay, and we want to put from to, so those are my two fields, right? From and to, and then open parenthesis, um, excuse me, open quotation, small d, close um, quotation, then close parenthesis. That's all that you have to do. We're going to just hit OK, and we can give the output um, what we want it to output. In this case, we're going to output a number. We can also do this as... Um, a percentage or with different decimals. We're not going to do that now. We're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to go back to this and notice here it's coming up as 732, which is exactly like the example in the actual spreadsheet. So let's make a change to this data real quick. We double click on that data and just go down here and let's move this date back, put it up to 2000 and hit enter. And now notice it changes 367. So that's as easy as it is to create a calculated field based between two dates.